Hello, my galactic soul family. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Gabrielle. My YouTube name is Witchy Vibes 11, which means healing vibes in the 11th frequency. And if you are here and you are watching this video right now, it's because you were guided here. A lot of people, I was, I was um, guided to, quick story, I was guided to change my name on YouTube. It used to be Gabrielle Garcia Orbs when I first created my channel. I was guided to change it to Witchy Vibes 11. And there's a, there's, um, there's like a low vibration when people see the word witch and, or hear about witches, they're like, mm, that's a bad person. That's a demon. Those people are not a part of my soul family. And those people are not, are not on the same soul journey that we are on. So if you are here, it's because you were guided to be here and the name resonated with you or you took a chance and clicked on it because you were curious and here you are. You are in the healing vibes of the 11th frequency. So here I am again, three days in a row, you guys. This is wild, right? I haven't done videos like this since forever. I mean, yeah, I, I add videos to my shorts, you know, in the short stories here on YouTube, but I haven't done story stories like this in a minute. It feels good. I feel good. Feel, I feel good. So really quick before I hop into this, this video, um, I was, I've been guided to watch some of my old videos and I've been watching videos wow, I've come a long way. And wow, I, I've seen stuff in some of my videos and I'm like, oh, I am not taking my own advice. I'm giving you guys advice and I'm not taking my advice. And I was called out. I was called out. You guys, I was called out yesterday um, for giving advice and not, and not taking my own advice. So, I mean, I thought about, I thought about, I thought about that. And um, no matter what I want to say to, um, I think defend is the wrong word. Because no matter what I say on being called out, I just have to take accountability on it. That's it. It's true. Um, no matter what I come up with, it's just going to be an excuse. An excuse, an excuse. It's an excuse. So, holy shit, this journey just gets harder and harder the longer you are you are on it, and you you so get so tested along the way. So many things have changed for me, and um, I think I'm going through another dark night of the soul. I feel like maybe this one. I don't know if it's gonna hurt or not. Right now, I'm haven't really like taken any motions, but the universe has taken motions and I've known about it for, for quite some time now. Maybe that's why I haven't done videos in a while because energetically I'm just trying to figure stuff out. But I think things are starting to speed up on that figuring stuff out. And um, the universe has been sending me some really interesting messages and they're a little scary. Um, even though I've given it, so I was listening to some of the stuff on the dark night of the soul that I talked about in two of the videos that I listened to this morning. And even though I've given you guys some really awesome advice and I've taken that advice in the past and healed from that dark night of the soul, I don't know if I'm ready for this one. This one is going to be, um, I don't know what it's going to be because I'm assuming that it's going to be like wicked. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've become very soft the older I get. And um, eh, whatever. But anyways, I was called out. And then inter interestingly enough, not only was I called out, somebody from the soul family, from the group, remember Glitch, you guys? Glitch, if you're watching this. I miss you. Um, 
So somebody from the glitch group in this soul tribe hit me up and we talked for the first time. I mean, like we've known each other from the group, but we, re we really never communicated. And her name is Nova. You guys got to check out her channel. It's um, Nova underscore Nova underscore Supernova underscore. She is amazing. And um, her channel is about shadow work. And that's what I found interesting because everything that I'm going through right now, I am being called out like the universe is like, be authentic, Gabby, be authentic. Like we are going to call you out. So I was called out by Nova, but she didn't know that she called me out. <laughs> she was guided. The universe guided her. So her message, her message, you know, to me was that her channel is about shadow work. And I was like, oh man. So I checked her channel out and I was like, wow, this is a synchronicity right here. And then, um, then she, she received a channeled message and she shared it with me. Um, I didn't get her permission to share it. It's a, I took a screenshot of it. If she gives me permission, I will share it. But it literally, it, it's like it was speaking to me. It was like it's speaking to me. And it's about shadow work and um, fear. Oh my God, fear and not having fear and how to overcome fear. And it was just like the universe is basically telling me like, you know, I got your back. Stop thinking about the future and the what ifs. And that is like this whole transformation in me leveling up is fear holding me back. Um, I thought I healed from a lot of things, but then I became this hermit. And when I became this hermit, I think I put up more walls. The ones that I knocked down, I think I rebuilt them up again in certain situations in my life. And I learned to live to be content. And I'm really starting to um, learn <laughs> that content is not enough. Okay. And I just found that it was very interesting that 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 has been coming up and it's just, it just blows my mind. And I don't know. I just, I think my soul family is amazing. And I think like doing these videos are making me feel really good. And, um, so just hang with me guys. And even though I give you advice, there's a lot of the stuff that I give you advice on that I've learned from those experiences. But um, doing videos like this really helps me to continue my journey and do what needs to be done. And I just want to thank you for being there for me. And I want to thank you. I'm not going to say who called me out, but if you're watching this video, I want to thank you for calling me out because, um, you know, we don't get enough honesty in our lives. We are, people feed us bullshit. They tend to tell us what we want to hear and we need to be told, we need to be told, we, people need to tell us what we need to hear, not what we want to hear. So after I watched my videos, um, of shadow work, I received this download about negative people and negativity. I have a cat hair in my eye. If you guys see me messing with my eye constantly, it's because I literally have a hair in my eye that I can't get out, that I've been trying to get out for the last hour. Um, so yeah, I received this download about gossiping and negative people. And so I, I wanted to do a video about it. I feel like I mean, this I'm putting it out to the collective because I think that there's some information here that will be good for everybody. But um, I feel like this is a message for like a, somebody in particular. And if this message is for you, it's going you're going to know because it's going to validate something for you. And I just want to let you know that your spirit team came in strong this morning, whoever you are. So I want to talk about spiritual law and karma. So when somebody is um, speaking negatively or badly about you, first of all, it's none of your business. Honestly, it's none of your business. It's just not. And I'd like to say that when people talk bad um, about you, it's, it's not your job to control their behavior. And pick your battles wisely. 
even though what they are saying about you can impact your life. It can impact your emotions and your relationships all the way around, you know, from family to intimate to work related. It can, it can, it can affect you as a whole, right? It can really destroy you as a person. So surround yourself with people that are not like the people that are talking negatively about you. And if no, if those people are talking negatively, ugh, I can't talk today, talking negatively about you, cut them out. My energies, I, I know I started the video by telling you guys I feel a little tired, I think. But I feel very energetic. And sometimes when I get like that, it's because a channeling is going to happen. I don't know if I have the strength for a channeling right now. Um, <laughs> I do. I feel kind of drained. Um, but high, high energy. So surround yourself with people that love and support you. And cut those negative Nancys out of your life. No matter who they are. Even if they are your family, cut them out or create boundaries and limit the time you are around them because it's hard to cut certain people out. But if it's people that you work with or friends or acquaintances, cut them out, cut them out, just do away with them. Goodbye. And ref refrain from retaliation because retaliation it's going to make you look like the villain and it's going to make you look so much worse because they're painting a picture of you as they talk about you. And then you're going to react, you're going to retaliate and you're going to show everybody the side of you that this person was talking about. And it's going to make it look like what they said is true. Even if it's not true, even if it is true, you know, maybe you're healed and they're waking up um, an unhealed version of yourself that you think you healed. It's going to make things like really ugly. So just don't retaliate. And I know that that is so easy for me to say, especially that I'm a fire sign and I am a hothead. Well, I used to be, a, I mean, I guess I still am a hot. I can be a hothead depends on how much I'm provoked. But um, I don't like to fight. Like I used to love to like fight back and retaliate. And I, I came with a vengeance, right? But now I'm just like, ah, uh, whatever. Like when I'm, anytime I hear that somebody talked about me, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Or tell me more. What else did they say? Like, you know, I want to hear their version of the story. Like, you know, I want to hear how villainish I was, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, that's interesting. I didn't, I didn't know I had it in me, but you know, just try to take the high road anyways, even though it's hard. Right. And I speak from experience. Trust me when I tell you, I'm, I'm trying to hold back from giving you guys examples of my life. Um, because I have a ton <laughs> and, uh, being in the music industry with, uh, my husband, I dealt with a lot of this stupid shit. Um, this was like the story of my life and it was very toxic, right? I, I was always retaliating. Um, and me retaliating, even not just in the music business, but in life in general, in my family dynamic, in my, you know, in work, in anything. I've burned a lot of bridges because of my fire energy because I was a hothead when I was mad. I probably still am a hothead. I haven't been made that mad. I haven't let anybody make me that mad. It actually makes other people mad when I don't get as mad as they want me to get. And I usually just leave. I will literally just get, I will, I will walk away. If I don't have a car, I will literally walk down the road and I will call somebody to pick me up. I will get into my car and I will drive away. I will go to my mother's house. I will, if I'm at a party, I will just walk away. I, I don't play the get mad game. I try not to. I try not to. 
And that's only because I have this awareness. Before I didn't have it. Um, before I was a, a steam engine, you know, that would blow through you and just take you out. You know, the gloves would come off and I would hit below the belt. You know, I didn't even care. And I would be, I would become hate on all levels. It destroyed many of my relationships for me. A lot of, I lost a lot, a lot of friends. Um, there were some family issues that I've had because I hit below the belt. Um, you know, I'm not a saint. So of course, when somebody came at me at a certain time, I came back, I hit below the belt. So that kind of really destroyed my relationship with some people in my family. And that's just something I have to live with. Um, so it can definitely destroy, it can destroy your life in many ways. So it's really just not worth it. It's not. And I learned along the way that I have nothing to prove to anyone along the way of when I say along the way, I mean on this journey. I have nothing to prove to anyone, only myself. And I don't need to defend myself. I don't need to defend my honor. I don't need to defend any of that. Because those that love me will always know my heart. So if this message is for you and it resonates with you, just know that you don't have to defend yourself. You don't have to defend your honor. You have nothing to prove to nobody. And the people that know you, the people that love you, know your heart, okay? So you have nothing to prove. Don't allow your rage to create pain. My rage was pain and hurt, but it came out as hate. Don't burn bridges. Don't be like me and burn bridges because you're going to need to walk those bridges again and they won't be there for you. So as I journey on my path to enlightenment, and I am, I am far from being enlightened. I actually watched the video where I said, I'm enlightened. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I said that. Um, at the moment, I felt like maybe I was enlightened compared to where I was at one point of my life. But if you ever watch a video where I say I'm enlightened, just know that I didn't know what I know now. I am far from being enlightened. I might have leveled up, but I'm not enlightened, but I'm on the path to enlightenment. I'm on a journey. So as I journey on my path to enlightenment, I have become aware of a lot of things. I've become mindful of a lot of things on my path. And one of those things that I've become aware of is something called the 12 universal laws. And we're protected by those laws in life. And they are in motion constantly. And they affect all of us. And it's not always pleasant when we're being affected by them because it depends on what we're doing to create, you know, the effect that it has on us. So when someone is speaking bad about you, I want you to shift your perspective, shift your mind. So when someone is speaking bad about you, this is, this is what it means. Spiritually, this is what it means. There's a spiritual meaning for just about everything that happens in your life because everything is energy and everything happens because you create it. You're activating their ego. The person that's talking about you badly, you're, you're activating their ego. You're activating the part of them that is holding on to some identity. And that identity elevates their status in the eyes of other people. Their ego is threatened by you. And them being threatened, it's not their fault that they're threatened. And this is where I want you to change your frame of mind the way you think. I want you to shift your perspective for a moment. And I want you to hear me out. In a 3D world, we we are in this 3D world, okay? 
And in this 3D world, we have a limited way of thinking. We would say it's their fault because that's how we're programmed to think. We, we're programmed, we're very limited. So we would automatically say that that is absolutely their fault. They did X, Y, Z to me. They made me do this. Their action made me have this reaction. And you became the victim, right? We were programmed to always be in competition. We're always being challenged and we're always in a competition. So we're always in this competition mode to win, thrive, and not fail. So we've been getting judged or graded on our achievements, on our performance, on who we are ever since we were in elementary school, grade school. But in this world that I'm in, I don't know about you, but this world that I'm in, on the path that I'm on, um, we're on this side, we're expanding into higher consciousness. So I guess as you level up from 3D to 4D to 5D, we're expanding into consciousness. Consciousness expands the mind and it it opens up a channel of limitless thinking, limit, a, limit, a limitless way of thinking. But not all of us are aware of this. So here I am, I'm bringing it to your awareness. I guess this is how spirit is using me to bring this to your awareness. So not all of us are aware of this. And I say this because a lot of us are unaware and mindless. A good majority of the people in my life, at least, can come across as very mindless and unaware of anything that they do or say. Those of us not on the conscious journey to enlightenment, they tend to be stuck in the... Um, the, the generic way of thinking, the 3D way of thinking in this simulation that we live in, in or reality or whatever you want to call it, this matrix. We are very uneducated when it comes to our, spir our spiritual aspects of self. So there's an, a spiritual aspect of us when it comes to our ego. And when you think of ego, or well, when I can't speak for you guys, but when I thought of ego, when any when anybody acted a certain way, I, I would be like, that's their ego. And I always pointed out the bad part of their ego. So I always just assumed that ego was bad. We were never taught to see the good part of the ego because we live in a duality. There's always good and there's always bad. There's always light and there's always dark, no matter what you're, whatever, what, what you're talking about or whatever you're referring to. There's always a good and there's always a bad part of that. There's always a lightness to it, but, and if there's a lightness to it, there's definitely a darkness to it. So spiritually, we were never taught what ego means on a spiritual level. We were just, Taught that ego is ego and you're a jerk if you have too much of it. But ego is not bad. But in this simulation, it can seem bad when it's in survival mode. So we are living in this very materialistic simulation matrix or world reality, however you uh, relate to it, right? So status in life matters in this matrix. And that's been instilled in our head since birth. You were programmed since birth to be someone or something. And when I say something, I'm not talking about gender, okay? 
I'm talking about your parents saying, oh, when little Johnny grows up, he's going to be a doctor. Or, you know, I want my daughter to be, um, I want my daughter to go in the Navy. Um, I want my son to be a fireman. You know, your, your parents kind of pick your path. They have this habit of picking your path in life and pushing you to be who they want you to be. And they ignore who y you want to be. And you don't really get to express what you want to be because sometimes that creativity is taken away from us. And it seems like in this world today, a lot of our creativity is being taken away from our children more and more and more. Uh, you know, electronics really takes away from being creative. Because when I was a kid, we used to play outside and we used to use our imagination to amuse ourselves. Nowadays, like, how do kids amuse themselves? They amuse themselves with video games that were created by somebody else. And that creator says, you're going to like this. And this is the game you're going to play. And those kids get addicted to those games, just like we get addicted to social media. So you're programmed to be someone. You're going to be rich. You're going to be successful or you're going to be a doctor. You're going to be a nurse. You're going to be a, a fireman or whatever. And you're being programmed by your teachers, society, your parents. And you're being programmed to be that way because they want you to make a lot of money. They want you to be someone that's successful. They want you to be someone with status. And that ultimately puts us in survival mode as we get older. Because we're always competing to be better. Competing to reach that goal to become the CEO of a company or the manager of, you know, wherever you work at. Or, you know, the, the leader of the group or <laughs> the best of whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. We are constantly challenged to be better than everyone around us. Our parents, our grandparents, our siblings, our friends, um, our teammates. If you're on a team together, you want to play better than the other person on your team because you want to be the quarterback. If we're talking football, you know, everybody wants to be the quarterback because the quarterback's famous, right? You know, that's what they put on TV. That's how they program you. They want you to be the quarterback, right? They want you to be that person. They want, if you're the quarterback, you're better than everybody else on your team, right? I, I'm not saying that to be true. I'm just saying that's what it seems like in this reality as they, as it programs you. And when we are on a team, we're programmed to win and beat the other team. Sometimes we even challenge ourselves and that's not a bad thing but sometimes we are not kind when we challenge ourselves and we're not patient when we challenge ourselves we push ourselves over the limit to reach our goals in life and then when we fail we get angry or sad or disappointed because we lost and our ego identifies that as a failure. Our ego simply goes into survival mode and the ego then summons all the negative forces to find information about you. So now I'm bringing it back to the people that are talking about you. So going back to the beginning of this video, when somebody is talking about you and they're, they're coming from a, a place of negative ego, low vibrational ego, ego, not eagle, ego. Their ego will summons all the negative forces to find out information about you, to criticize you, to put you down, to bring you down, to hurt you. The ego has that power to align with the dark side and tap into information about you to use against you. So ego is ego and it could be used good or bad like everything in this world or simulation that we live in. Because we live in a duality. 
In my opinion, we are here. We chose to live here. We volunteered to incarnate to come here and have this human experience. We are souls having a human experience. So in my opinion, we are here to have an experience and find neutral ground and find peace in neutrality in this duality. And love is your superpower if you can unlock it. And that sounds super simple, but it is a challenge. On, I'm not just talking about love, sexual love. I mean, anybody can find sexual love. I mean, shit, the world is, is programmed using sex. That's easy. I'm talking about unconditional love, loving somebody from your heart no matter what, unconditionally, not sexually. So you must know that when someone talks negatively about you, that negativity is not a bad sign. Shift your perspective. I want you to shift your perspective right now. That negativity is not a bad sign. It's a good sign. It's a good sign if you can shift your perspective. It's a good sign. It's a good sign about your life spiritually. You are, you're doing what you came here to do. Okay? So if you are triggering people and creating lots of situations with gossip, Either you're authentically just an asshole that has, is just mi mindless and you have a lot of stuff to figure out or you're here doing what you came here to do, which is you're, you're a catalyst and a healer. You are here to wake people up. You are part of the ascension process. You are like the soldiers that came down because we are, I feel like we're in this spiritual war. And we're trying to raise the vibration of the planet and people and all that jazz, right? I don't really want to get into all that. I talk about it a lot on my channel. If you don't know, go back and watch some of my Ascension videos and then you'll kind of understand. But um, we're here to raise the vibration of the planet. So maybe you're here to raise the vibration of the planet and you're doing your work. It's a good sign about your life spiritually. You're radiating light that is disrupting their programming. That's a good thing. That's what we want to do. We want to wake people up. So you're disrupting their programming. And it's an unknown awareness of self. Because they don't know. But that could put them on the path to enlightenment. Because you're triggering people and sometimes... Triggering people puts them on a path to enlightenment. I know that when I was triggered, I, I was triggered, I was pushed. That was a lot of things. But triggering is what wakes people up. As weird as that sounds. Not everybody, but a good majority of people. The planet was triggered back in 2020 when all that stuff went down. Look what's happening. We're ascending faster. So anytime someone is speaking badly about you, they're taking negativity away from your soul. So you're doing what you came here to do. And they're taking that negativity away from your soul. So think of that as a little parting gift and say, thank you. That's a parting gift for triggering them. That trigger is going to create change. Maybe not right away, but it's going to create change. Hopefully. There's, there's a spiritual law that protects you. There's 12 spiritual laws. <laughs> but there's a spiritual law that protects you. So when someone speaks behind your back, whether it's true or not true, good or bad, if it hurts your reputation, there's this thing called karma and she can be a bitter bitch. I know <laughs> from experience. 
<laughs> karma is not always bad either. Karma can be so sweet. Karma can be a blessing. When you put out good karma, you're going to get back good karma. And it's, it's so sweet. But if you put out bad karma, you're going to get back bad karma. If you put out bad, you're going to get back bad. So karma and the spiritual law protects you, protects all of us. Spiritual law and karma is an energy dance that we are all involved in. And it applies to all of us. Even if you are unaware of it, it applies to all of us. Now, karma suggests that our actions have consequences. It's like a cosmic sheet of like um it's like a cosmic balance sheet that that you know keeps score what we give out we eventually receive in return if we give out bad we return bad if we give out good we get good in return now the law of cause and effect this law states that our actions create energy and that energy ripples through the universe, affecting us and everybody, affecting other people too. So if you've ever taken a rock and thrown it into the pond, you'll see that the, the energy just goes, or the, the water goes like this and ripples out. Energy does the same thing when you put it out into the universe. So when you do something that's negative, or if you say something that's negative, those are both of those things are actions. And... Uh, those actions and words are energy and you will create a ripple effect which will go out into the universe and it will f affect everything but that energy that you put out good or bad that energy ripple will find its way back to the sender through karma karma so wrapping it up and I think we've all learned this. In grade school, something called the golden rule. What comes around goes around. Do unto others as you would have done unto you. I think that's how the saying goes. I can't really remember. But it's the golden rule. Treat others as you wish to be treated. If someone is talking bad about you, if someone is gossiping about you, they're digging their own grave, guys. They're sowing their own seeds. They're sowing their seeds of negativity, negativity. And according to the law of karma, the seeds that they sow will eventually bear fruit, either in their own lives or somebody else's elsewhere. So their karma could affect something that they love, someone that they love, their children, their pets, their situation in life. So just be careful because what you put out there, it will come back to you and depending on what it is, it'll get you good. And it will use the people you care about too because it will affect you and that will be your karma. So choose your battles. Choose your battles wisely. It's not worth it. And surround yourself with positive people. Surround yourself with people who uplift you. Have empathy. I know that it's easy to say that. Trust me. Because when somebody's talking about me, I don't always have empathy right off the bat. Like, I have to think about it for a second. I'm, I pr I'm practicing to pause before I react. And allowing myself to pause allows me a moment to be mindful and bring myself back to this, you know, what I'm learning along the way. So have empathy. Be mindful. Remember that everyone has their struggles in life and their own insecurities. And sometimes their struggles and insecurities make them act really stupid. I'm not sticking up for them. I'm not justifying their behavior. Just telling you. Because there's a lot of mindless people out there. And if you're mindful, that's your superpower. Use it. 
because it's going to benefit you. Not all of us have this gift of awareness. Sometimes people speak negatively about other people due to their own issues. So try to empathize with their perspective. Again, I'm not justifying their behavior. Your awareness is your sword. It's your superpower. I have yet to master any of the stuff that I'm talking to you about. Just sharing with you. Mostly this video is because, like I said, I was guided to do it today. Even there's stuff in here that is a message for me. I have yet to master a lot of this because I have a hard time of keeping my big fat mouth shut at times. But I'm practicing pausing before reacting. And I thought I would share that with you because maybe somebody else needed to hear that. But again, I'm not a master at any of this stuff that I talk to you guys about. I'm just sharing with you my journey. And I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect. Far, 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 far from perfect. But I'm better than I was five years ago. I'm better than I was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I was, uh, <laughs> I was an asshole 10 years ago, okay? 20 years ago, I was a mindless asshole. But I'm a lot better today. So remember, this is a journey. Sometimes um, we stray away from the path. I know I do. I do all the time. I still do. The universe has a way of pushing me back on the path and really, really good at being forceful, especially lately. So be the best version of yourself. Be patient with yourself and others and be kind, regardless of the gossip that's coming down the pipeline. Okay. So I love you guys. I hope this resonated with you. And um, for whoever you are, I hope I validated your situation and I hope everything works out for you. Sending you guys lots of love. Mwah.